Hi everyone. So you should have just watched the video on expanding single brackets. And now we're going to look at expanding double brackets. So what we're trying to achieve is the same thing. We want to multiply everything in this bracket by everything in this bracket. Okay. So we're going to multiply the X and the X together and the, um, the one and the X and the two and the X and the two and the one. But that's kind of confusing, isn't it? It'd be really easy to miss something out. So there are two different methods of doing this. And um, this is the first one I'm going to show you when we call this the foil method. And I'm going to do this as two separate videos simply because I'd like you to watch the start of each one, decide which method you, you prefer, and then just watch the entire of that video. And um, just, you know, pick the one you're happiest with. There's no point spending time doing one you're not as confident with if the other one works better for you. OK, because they both achieve the same thing in the end. So the FOIL method stands for this is like an acronym. F is first. O is outside. I, any guesses? Inside. And L, last. OK, so FOIL. Um, and basically what these refer to are the terms don't forget terms are parts of our algebra that are separated by kind of plus and minus signs okay so here's a term here's a term here's a term here's a term okay so the first terms are the first ones to appear in each bracket okay so the x and the x and just like we did on the single brackets we're going to multiply them together so x times x is x squared if you're not sure about that look at the last video because i explained it on there why it's x squared um, next one, outside, we're going to look at the outside terms this time. So the ones on the outside, the furthest away from each other. Okay, so the X and the positive 2, we'll do those ones next, which is positive 2 times X is positive 2X. Okay, inside, that's the ones that are nearest to each other. It makes like a little smiley face down there. Um, positive 1 multiplied by X, which is positive now this is going to be positive 1x but please remember we don't tend to write the one if there's only one of them okay if you put it in there it's not the end of the world it's fine but we just don't need to write it and then the last ones last are the last ones in each bracket okay that's our numbers here the one positive one times positive two is positive two okay and by saying this positive two and positive one it's made sure that all of these signs are in here and they're going to be correct now we don't have to worry about what goes where. So that's your first step. OK, there are two steps to this. That's the first step. We've expanded the brackets. Now we need to simplify. And, and to remember, simplify means to collect all like terms. OK, so the things that are the same, these are the same terms. So I'm just going to get a couple of different colours just to kind of highlight these. One, two, three different colours. There we are. Um, so X squared. OK, we're looking at this variable here, the x squared. OK, that's one of its own. There aren't any other x squareds in there. There's not a 3x squared anywhere. There's not a negative x squared anywhere. There's just that one. OK, the next one here, we've got a 2x. OK, so we're interested in this bit here, the x. There is another term in here that's got an x. OK, so that one there. This off the x, the plus sign there. Um, these are similar terms okay because they both have an x now i know what you're thinking you think well this one has an x okay but this one doesn't this one has an x squared that's something different okay so just be careful there these both have an x so they're like terms and then the last one we'll call this kind of our, our constant because it's just a number um ah oh, dang it i've used the same color twice i'm not very good at this am i got the color coding um, there we are that's a different color now so we don't have any other just numbers okay there's not a plus three or a negative seven in there okay so what we can do now we can combine any that are the same so we've got these two here that are in purple just bring these down here together okay so we've got positive 2x and we're adding another x that's going to give us positive 3x okay and because these didn't have anything to join up with we're just going to bring them down as they are okay they don't change at all x squared and then plus two so there's our final answer okay it's because what we've done there if we've done x squared add 2x add x add 2 it's a little easier to say well x squared add 3x we've added 3x's haven't we add 2 
Okay, so that's the first example. I'm going to do four examples, so it will be quite as detailed. There's a few things to mention there. Um, and they're going to get slightly more difficult each time, okay? So please take some good notes on these. So that's the first one. Notice the first one I had both, both positive signs, okay? That's always the nicest. I can't pick up the page. There we go. Okay, so this one here, we're going to do foil again. Okay, foil method. So we're going to multiply our first terms. That's the two x's. Okay, so we get x squared. Outside, that's negative 3 multiplied by x. That's negative 3x. Okay, remember the sign, the, the sign belongs to the number after it. Um, inside, that's positive 2 multiplied by x. So that's positive 2x. And last, that's the last one. So that's positive 2 multiplied by negative 3 which is negative six. Okay, and now we have to go through, just like we did before, look at these terms, okay? So there's only one instance of x squared, so it doesn't appear anywhere else. There are, we've got a negative three x, and we've also got a positive two x. Now these quite handily are right next to each other, but it doesn't matter if you had one here and one several terms along, okay? That's fine, they just happen to work out right next to each other. So they're the same. And then we've got a negative six, and that's the only number on its own that we've got. So we can't do anything with that one. So we can combine these. Now, this is where you might want to do a little bit of time, just making sure you're happy with your negative number scale, okay? Because negative 3x add 2x. I know quite a few people get lost with these. So we've got negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, okay? That's just a quick number line there, look. And we're starting at negative 3. And we're adding two. So don't forget, positive goes up this way. So we're going one, two. So we're going to land on negative one x. Okay. And like I said on the last one, if it's a negative one x, we just put the negative x. The one's not really necessary. And then these other ones come down to join it because they don't have anything to join them to. So x squared, subtract x, subtract six. Okay. That's that one. So that one had one positive and one negative. Now the next one. I'm sure you saw it coming. Both negatives, okay? Now, you're doing the exact same process each time. Just be careful with the negative signs. This is where you're going to, if you're going to trip up, this is where with these negative signs, okay? So just if you're aware of that, it's less likely to happen. So first, an x squared outside is x multiplied by negative 7, which is negative 7x. Inside, negative 2 multiplied by x, which is negative 2x. And last, now careful here, because what we get is negative 2 multiplied by negative 7. Okay, and that's going to give us positive 14. Okay, positive 14, because they're both negative numbers. Um, now again, we're going to just go through these. So we've only got, and you, you'll start to see a bit of a pattern quite often at this level. They're going to look quite similar each time. You're going to usually end up with 1x squared term. Not always, of course, but the ones I'm giving you at the moment tend to look like this. But you'll start to think they're always going to look like this, okay? And, and they won't always. So just be aware that you do just need to check each time. We've got 1x here and we've got 1x there, look, just x on its own. And then we've just got, again, that constant there. So we combine these. That number line again, negative 7. Let's just... Here's our zero, and I'm going to put negative 7 here, negative 8, negative 9, because we're starting at negative 7, and we're subtracting 2, okay? So we're going that way when we subtract, so we're going 1, 2. We're going to land on negative 9x, okay? And then these ones don't change. Okay, so there's your final answer. So this is your first step to expand this is the next bit to simplify. And exam questions will always ask, they'll say, expand and simplify. Okay? So you tend to get one point, two points. Okay? Normally, works. sometimes it's three points for, you know, bits of working out and things. Okay, now the last one is the same thing, but this time I've put a number here. Okay? So don't panic. Because just remember, all that means, actually, well, actually, look. It's a single bracket, isn't it, like we did last time? Um, but we also have a double one. So what we're doing really is timesing two.
by everything here. But we also need to times everything in here by everything in here. Okay. So as long as you're really organized, it should be fine. What I would say to do will be to work out your double brackets first. Okay. And then we're just going to multiply by two. So we're just going to almost ignore that two for a few minutes and just work these ones out. So first we get x squared outside, which is negative 2x. Inside, positive 9x. And last, negative 18. It's got one positive, one negative there. Okay, um, we're going to go through and just simplify that first. It makes it a lot easier if we simplify first. Otherwise, we're going to have to multiply everything by 2 and then simplify. It's just another step. You'd get the same answer, but a bit of a waste of time if you could do it this way. So we've got here two lots of like terms with the x's, as we've had before. Okay, so negative 2, add 9. We're going up the number line. Alternatively, you could say positive 9, subtract 2. Okay, it's the same question. Um which gives a lovely answer because it's a nice one. We've been doing this since primary school. 9 subtract 2, 7. Okay, 7x, and then these ones come down, and it's a positive 7, sorry, positive 7x, and subtract 18. Okay, but we've done that, lovely. We mustn't forget this 2. So what we end up with, let's bring that 2 down, because we still have to multiply it by everything. We're not just multiplying it by the first term. To multiply by everything. So this is going to go back to that um, kind of noddy's hat, the eyebrow idea. Okay, but it's just got an extra term. It's okay. Multiply it by everything. 2 times x squared. 2x squared. 2 multiplied by positive 7x is positive 14x. And all the way to the end, 2 multiplied by negative 18, negative 36. OK, there you go. Um, if you'd have dived into that and expanded this single bracket first, OK, and then expanded the double brackets, you'd have got the same answer. OK, but you might have found some of the, the maths a little trickier. OK, but you would have got the same answer. So either way is fine. So that's the FOIL method. Um, I'm going to do a separate video on a method called the grid method. Um, I personally prefer the grid method. Um, I'll explain why on that video. Um, make sure you've taken some nice notes. I'm happy, for, like I've said before, I'm happy for you to use whichever method you prefer, though. But give them both a try. OK, just give them both a shot. Thanks.